seed is the most important and basic input in agriculture. Without seed there is no crop and without crop cultivation there is no food. So, seed is very important in agriculture. Seed science and technology is the study of seed formation, structure and its manipulation to provide quality seed to the farmer. Use of good quality seed alone can provide 20 percent increased yield. If the seed quality is poor, then the resulting crop will also be poor and the farmer will suffer loss in yield and also he will incur loss due to use of costly inputs like fertilizer and pesticides. In today's agriculture, farmers depend on varieties and hybrids for higher yields and the seed should have desirable genetic purity of the variety for producing higher yields. Let us learn some of the parts and they are descriptions. The first one is the hilum or funicular scar. Funicular scar is present on the seed coat and marks the point at which the seed was attached to the ovary wall or pod wall in case of legumes. Funiculus is the embryo stalk. Similarly, the micropyle is a canal or hole in the integuments of the nucleus through which the pollen tube usually passes during fertilization. Later when the seed matures and starts to germinate the micropyle serves as a minute pore through which water enters. The micropylar seed end has been demonstrated to be the major entry point of water during tobacco seed imbibition and germination. During germination the tobacco testa ruptures at the micropylar end and the radical protrudes through the micropylar endosperm. Chalasa is the non micropylar end of the seed. It is also the base of the ovule bearing an embryo sac surrounded by integuments. Another structure is the ridge. The ridge is found on the seed coat formed by adenate funiculus species for example, castor cotton. Arillate is a general term for the presence of outgrowth from the funiculus or seed coat or chalasa. Haril is the outgrowth of funiculus, rape or integuments. Sometimes it can be a sarcotesta where it covers the whole seed for example, papaya. Aerials probably often aid in seed dispersal by drawing attention to the seed after the fruit has shed and by providing food as a reward to the disperser. The aerial of nutmeg is known as maize of commerce and is very valuable. Another structure is the stropiole. Stropiole is the outgrowth of hilum region which restricts water movement into and out of some seeds. In some hard seeded legume seeds for example, Melilotus alba a plug which covers a special opening is known as the stropiolar plug. This must be loosened or removed before water can enter and scarification is one such technique where the 
clopiolar plug is broken to allow imbibition. Operculum is known as the seed lid. It refers to a decent cap on the seed or fruit that opens during germination. Carnuclate is a seed with excrescent outgrowth from integuments near the hilum as in case of euphorbia. Fibrous are those seeds which have a stringy or cord like seed coat for example, Myristica. Funicular are those seed which have persistent elongate funiculus attached to the seed coat as in case of Magnolia. Stropiolate is a condition of those seeds with elongate aerial or stropiole in the hilar region. Fruit is a strictly ripened ovary of a plant and its contents. More loosely, it is a term extended to the ripened ovary and seeds together with any structure with which they are combined. For example, apple which is a poem with a fruit as a core surrounded by fleshy derived from the floral receptacle. Akin is a small or usually single seeded dry indehiscent fruit for example, lettuce, sunflower etcetera. Caryopsis is a dry nut like fruit typical of monocots for example, rice, sorghum, maize etcetera. Elisomes are a specially dispersal appendages that are present in some fruits. This help in dispersal of such fruits by ants. The dispersal of ants is known as myrmicori and elisomes contain some pheromones that attracts the ant. The ant disperse the fruits and thereby help in dispersal of the species. One such example is the violets. Similarly, caruncle is a reduced aerial. It is a fleshy outgrowth present near the hilar region of some crops especially the seeds belonging to family Euphorbiaceae. It is generally dull colored, but can be brightly colored in some crops. Caruncle can be seen in castor. Some seeds have mucilage. Mucilage is a layer of polysaccharide slime produced by some seeds upon imbibition. This serves to retain water during imbibition and germination. Anise seed is one such seed which is used in sarbat with mucilage. So far, we discussed about the role of seeds, its importance in agriculture, its formation and some of the appendages attached to the seed. Now, let us go on the most important topic of this session that is seed maturation. A scientist Deloche in 1971 defined seed maturation as a process comprising a series of morphological, physical, physiological and biochemical changes that occur from ovule fertilization to the time when seeds become physiologically independent of the mother plant. The phases of seed development can be divided into four. Phase 1 and 2 account for cell division and expansion with reserve accumulation. In these phases cell differentiation, formation of seed primordia and embryo cell division occurs. During phase 3, the seed size increases 
as the embryo receives food from the mother plant. Seed moisture is high accounting for high metabolic activity in the developing seed. At the end of phase 3, the embryo is completely differentiated into cotyledons, embryonic axis, seed coat, micropyle and hilum. The phase 3 ends with seed moisture loss and drying of seed in phase 4. The seed coat gets hardened, the cotyledons lose their green color and become yellow. The endosperm gets hardened and toughened, the micropyle shrinks and the hilum shrivels to become loose so as to detach from the mother plant. Seed maturation thus happens in three phases and the first phase occurs immediately after fertilization. The stigma dries and withers the petal follow suit and wither. The sepals adhere to the growing fruit. Hormones present in the seed marshal food from the phloem towards it. As a perfect sink, the seed starts to develop which is seen by increased cell division. The phase 2 also is seen by increased histo differentiation with high seed moisture content. In phase 3, reserve deposition takes place as the cell division slows down. In case of millets, endosperm is seen to accumulate starch. As starch begins to grow, the cell wall ruptures and endosperm cells harden. In case of dicot, the endosperm is slowly observed in most crops except in castor and in umbelliferae where they still serve as storehouse of reserve foods. In legumes, the cotyledons grow and start to accumulate protein and oil. The embryonic axis also grows linearly and in millets, it is differentiated into shoot and root in dicots. In phase 4, which is the desiccation phase, the funicular degeneration occurs. Due to funicular degeneration, the mother plant is cut off from seed and thus no entry or exit of food takes place. In maize, this is indicated by the presence of dark brown layer at the base of seed known as the Duncan layer or milk line that is seen when the cob is cut into two. The seed starts to lose moisture, chlorophyll degeneration takes place and the seed becomes yellow or brown as per the crop specification. The hilum degenerates and withers and seeds become loose in the pod. At this juncture, the pod turns brown and falls off the mother plant. Sometimes the pod pericarp opens to release the seas as the process known as shattering. Now, let us see the concepts of physiological maturity of seeds. Physiological maturity is indicated by cessation of dry matter accumulation. Physiological maturation is important indicator in seed technology because at this juncture the seed is at its maximum vigor and germination potential. Beyond physiological maturity, the seed slowly starts to lose vigor. However, harvesting seed at physiological maturity is difficult as the moisture content is still high at 25 to 30 percent which may not be useful for harvest and post harvest operations like threshing and storage. Hence, it is better to harvest the seed crop at harvest maturity which is indicated by drop in moisture content to 12 percent. 
seed certification officials allow for seed moisture of 30 percent in case of rice, 12 percent in case of cereals, 10 percent in case of pulses and oil seeds and 8 percent for vegetable crops at harvest. Thus, this safe seed moisture helps proper harvest and storage. Harvestal maturity is indicated when 70 percent of the panicle turns golden yellow in rice, brown in wheat. In case of pearl midget and sorghum, the peduncle or panicle stalk dries. In case of legumes, for example, green gram, the pot turns brown, black in black gram, golden brown in soybean, brown in case of cowpea and pots turn red color in case of red gram, while in castor the capsule split. Similarly, in sesame also at this stage the crop is harvested with little loss in seed vigor. Maturity will also be decided by seed crop management. Heavy soils will lead to slower maturity while light soils will speed up maturation process. Irrigation at the time of harvest will delay maturity while withdrawal of irrigation will hasten maturity leading to immature drying and loss of seed potential. Rain set maturity will lead to fungal infection and insect damage may quicken maturity. Seed coat matures first in most legumes and upon drying the micropyle shrinks. It is covered by a mass of tissue called stropiolar plug which prevents entry of moisture. Such seeds are called hard seeds and are slow to germinate. Hot weather, water constraints during maturity can also lead to hard seed formation in pulses. Hence, adequate care during maturity is essential for a seed crop for harvesting quality seeds. Care must also be taken to see that seed crop matures in cool dry climate. Hence, under Indian conditions, Karif and late Rabi are the best seasons suitable for a seed crop. Though it is desirable to go for a single harvest, it may not be possible always, especially when the crop duration exceeds 100 days. In such cases, harvesting has to be done in phases as the seed or fruit maturity occurs in phases. This is in case of cotton, castor, tomato, brinjal and chilies. Dear students, in this session we dealt with how the seed is formed and how various structures are formed. At the later session, we also dealt with seed development, the various phases of seed development and how it matures. We also discussed about physiological maturity and about harvestable maturity. So, students by this time you would have learnt that seed is very important in agriculture. Without seed or rather without quality seed there can be no improvement in agriculture. Without agriculture there is no civilization and seed is the basis for civilization.